Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on Crazy Crate. So this is a fantastic crate plugin that's actually free to download off of Spigot. So it has lots of cool features, including four different types of crates. So we have the basic crate, which I don't actually have a key to, so we can left click it and see which um, items are inside. So we can get grass for 40% chance. We have a 60% chance to get a cheap helmet, which we actually got here, and 20% to get $1,000. Then if we move over to the crazy crate, that allows us to get a rare chest plate, a crazy sword, and one million. That one's pretty cool, as it um, creates sort of a um, an area around you, which is awesome. We then have the galactic crate, which allows you to pick four different things. So that's very cool, that has lots of different things in there. And then we have the classic crate, which has some fancy pants, um, a hundred thousand dollars and a classic sword so um, you can change all of these different things in the config file but to begin with we are going to have a look at them so if we do CC admin this will bring up a very useful GUI which allows us to get all of the different keys for all the different crates so we're gonna have a quick look at a few of these so if we right click the basic crate you will see a really cool animation and we are going to get what are we gonna get we're gonna get money that'd be very cool nope we're gonna get another very awful helmet so didn't really want that let's have a look at the cra uh, classic crate now and we got 1 million a really cool effect there and if I check my balance I probably have yeah a lot of money and finally let's have a look at the crazy crate right click this um, make sure there is enough room so let me just delete this wall and right click it again so we'll be teleported as you can see the chests are coming in with a really awesome particle effect. Look at that, very, very nice. And finally, we have number four. And if we right click these, we will see what we get. So, red chest plate, a couple of those, a third one, and a fourth one. Ooh, that's not good. Last time I tried this, I got a million dollars, which was great. Um, so, we might actually try that again, because I, I actually want to get something good out of that. Um, so, let's try that now. Right click again and hopefully we actually get something good so while this is happening if you do cc help uh, that will show you all the commands so we'll do that once we've opened all these let's do it quickly one million there we go that's what i wanted to get and a sword as well nice so that has sharpness five and fire aspect one so then that is done let's have a look at all the commands so if we use cc help that will show us everything so you can do cc list to show us all the different crates, there is a lot here and their location. You can do CCTP and then to GA, that will teleport us to the GA crate, which is obviously the galactic crate, like that. You can do CC remove and then a name such as GA, um, and that will just delete it, obviously. And we can do CC give or give all a physical or virtual crate at key. Uh, to a particular player. So physical to um, which one? Hmm. Let's just go with basic and amount one. So that will give every player on the server one key for the basic crate, which is obviously these like that. If you want to create a uh, an area to be uh, the crate you just put a chest down or something. I believe it can be anything honestly um, I think I made this grass block here. Yes, I did so this grass block is in fact a Crate so that is really cool that you can do it with anything. Um, I might do it when then the chest for this one So make sure you're looking at it when you do this command. So if you do CC create location names, let's call it e1 and the crate key is going to be galactic if I can spell it correctly and hit enter and if we left click now that'll be a galactic chest like that and you could obviously set um, a particular location as a crate so CC set E1 as maybe classic if you wanted to change it like that very straightforward you can also reload the config file and data files there is a lot of uh, things you can edit but other than that I think I've covered everything in here so we are going to hop into the config files now and have a look at what we can edit. So here we are in the crazy crates folder and as you can see there are a 
few things in here. So let's uh, look at the bottom two files, which you do not need to edit. There is all the locations, all the chests you've set in here. There they are, all the coordinates of them. Then there is the data of every player. So it shows you um, various things about them and all of the different crates. And then we have the config file. So let's hop in here. And here we can set the prefix if you wanted to change that, the inventory name, the inventory size, all of the different uh, text and chat that pops up, all of the disabled worlds, so you could um, disable it in maybe the creative worlds, that would probably be a good idea. So creative, if you had that, and um, the messages that pop up when the quad crate um, does not have enough room, so I showed you that in game as well. So let's go into the crates, here they are. Crazy is my favorite, so let's look at this one. And as you can see, um, we have the crate type, which is quad, so it had the four different crates. Um, it was in a GUI, which is true. There are 16 slots. Whether it broadcasts um, it to the server, so you might want to turn that off if you have a lot of players in your server. The name of it and the law as well. So um, this is pretty cool. You can change what the key looks like and the prizes. So prizes are the most important thing. Let's create a brand new prize. So you can either have items or money. So make sure you change this to four or whatever the next number is. And it's going to be um, a rank, even though this is probably not a good idea to have a rank in here. But um, you could do it anyway. Display item, so let's just set this to something random, such as wood. And you can change the lore as well, make sure you use color codes to make it look nice. The chance, so um, let's just do maybe 5%, file work true, and the command is going to be menu add, uh, and then player. So let me just delete this, that'll probably be easier. Manu add player and then obviously the rank's not called a million, maybe admin. You wouldn't obviously would not want to do this, but you could potentially make sure you put that at the end, and that is how you add a new uh prize. You could obviously delete the other ones, edit them if you really wanted to. And the other ones are very, very similar. They just have a different uh type of crate, so that one was very quick, we got it instantly. We open up the basic one that is similar. So this had a CSGO um, type, and as you can see, it went along and then slowed down, stopped on, I believe it was money. Yeah, I think we got money for that. And as you can see, you can add more and more items. So that's very cool. Last of all, we have the galactic chest, which I didn't open. But um, this is the cosmic type, so you select four different items and then you'll get all four, which is pretty nice. There are lots of different things you can get in here, which is cool. So that is uh, how you edit the config files, pretty straightforward. And you can, with this chest, you can choose the tiers. So that is very cool that uh, there are lots of different um, things you can choose and lots of different types of crates as well. So download this plugin if you want. I would highly recommend it as it's a very cool plugin. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.